We've all sat and stared at those blank note pages inside our planner and wondered, what am I going to do with this page? And you know what? This year, Erin Condren has added an extra note page to every week in the Daily Duo. So now you have 52 more blank pages. What are you going to do with all of them? Don't worry, I've got you. I've put together 20 ideas for your weekly note page in the Daily Duo. Stick around to the end because I've also thrown in a bonus one. Okay, so here are my 20 ways to use the weekly note page in the Erin Condren Daily Duo. I sat down and I thought, what are things that I use in like a bullet journal or keep track of other places that I could now move into the Daily Duo? And that is how I came up with the 20 pages. So first up, I've got the weekly action plan. So this is for your goal setting. And I've set it up different ways on this page. So you can kind of think of different ways you could use it. So the first one up here is you would write your goal in here and your top three priorities or action plan for the week here. Another way is by day of the week, put in each day in the box and like the three things you want to do each day or one or two or however many. And then you could also make each box its own goal. So like if you have a goal to run 30 miles, you could say I'm going to run five miles on Monday, five miles on Tuesday and whatever, however that would work out. And then you could also use a box for things to move to next week, this week's win, maybe an inspirational quote. This would be good if you go with the days of the week because there's eight boxes and there's seven days of the week. So that is the weekly action plan. Number two is a weekly overview. And I've kind of put two in one on this page just to show you the different ways it can be used. So first off, you could do your days across the top here and put like an important appointment or work schedule in there. And then in the space below, you can do your top three priorities, your dinner plans, your bills due, anything that you don't have in the little boxes up here. Or you can run your days of the week down like this, put your appointments, bills, whatever, and then you can do your top three, your dinner, or anything else over here. Or if you wanted to, you could spread each day out across the week. So it's really flexible depending upon your needs. Number three is meal planning. So you can do your days of the week on one half. You can do the days across the top with breakfast, lunch, dinner, or you can do them sideways like here with breakfast, lunch, dinner. The other side, you can do a shopping list and a prep. For prep, I usually will be like, we're going to have chicken on Tuesday for dinner. So on Monday, I need to remember to take the chicken out. So I would write Monday, take out chicken. Budgeting. Personally, I have always followed a budget by paycheck type system. So this is how I would set it up. I would put my income for the paycheck up here the bills that are due, what I budgeted, the actual, and when I paid it. You could also track savings, sinking funds, cash envelopes, and other expenses. And I'm sure there's a few different ways you could set this up as well. If you have a business, you could use that for your business income and expenses for the week. So again, very flexible. Number five, content planning. And I'm giving you two types of content spreads here. So the first one is your blog video planning. So you can put up here your important dates, title, keywords. You can do your to-do list of all of the things you need to do. You can jot down your intro, your main point, sub points, your wrap up, and a spot for notes. Or you could do it like this as more of a actual like weekly content planner. So you can put your days of the week down the side and your platforms across the top. And then you can be like, well, Tuesday, I'm going to publish this blog. Thursday, I'm going to do a video. You know, I want to post a story here. However you plan your content. 
Number six, habit tracker. Again, multiple ways to use this. You can do the simple one up here of just listing out your habits and doing a checkbox for each day of the week. You can use a stencil and do, you know, I want to make sure I drink enough water every day. I want to make sure I journal every day. Or you can use stickers. So I've got these stickers that say journal and reading and little check boxes. I've got a little icon sticker here for art. And then I've got the habit trackers stickers from different companies here to just kind of give you examples of ways you can set that up. Number seven, a cleaning checklist. I loosely follow Clean Mama. So what I would do is write out all my days of the week and the tasks for each day. And then on the days that I know I have time in my schedule, I'll do my additional weekly tasks. And then there's multiple ways to make your little checklist. You can use highlighter to make a little checkbox. You can use little washi tape for a checkbox. Or you can highlight when you've completed an item. Number eight, fitness tracker. Lots of stuff you can track related to health and fitness. You can put your weekly goals or top priority is up here. You can put your plan for workouts here and what you actually did. Again, you can track your water intake. You can do a little weekly mileage tracker. You could track your macros. So many options. Let's say you have a trip coming up. You can use number nine to start planning your vacation. You can put where you're going, your dates, flight information, rental car and hotel information. You can start a to-do list of things that you need to do yet, obviously. And you can start jotting down things you'd like to see and do, uh, restaurants you'd like to try, things like that. On to number 10, uh, project planning. So this is great for work or school projects. You can put your project name up here, end date, if you have a budget, description, action plan, things to do, materials you need to get, other important dates, and notes. Number 11, a currently spread. You can put down what you are currently reading, watching, listening, creating, loving, going, dreaming, feeling, celebrating, planning, and so much more. Number 12, and the last of the spreads that I made as examples, would be home improvement or spring cleaning lists. You can break out your page into different areas of your house, and then you can put in there, let's say in the kitchen you want to replace your faucet. You can write that in there. You can also write, you know, I need to run to Home Depot and get light bulbs for the living room. Whatever it is that you need to do. Uh, spring cleaning, you know, I want to wipe down the baseboards in the living room. I want to clean out the garage, sweep the backyard, patio, whatever. So all of these spreads are very flexible and they can be as simple or as creative as you want. I'm telling you, if you Google like a bullet journal spread for any of these, you'll be showing something from like a simple list to like a very creative like drawing, and there's tons of stickers and stencils. So you can really make these pages for you. And I know some of the sticker shops are already putting out stickers for these pages. Stay tuned because up next, I'm going to give you a list of the remaining eight ideas I had with a bonus. Okay, here is the list of the last few that I thought of a weekly wrap-up or memory, memory keeping. That one's fairly self-explanatory. Brain dump. Just jot down all those thoughts that are bumping around in your head. An event, milestone, or a celebration of you. Did you accomplish a big goal? Does your kid have a birthday? Whatever milestone or event it is, make a pretty page to remember that or celebrate that. Uh, running to-do list. Like I said down here, if you think of it as like a bullet journal, you have a running to-do list, you can cross off tasks as you do them. You can mark that they're in progress or that you're migrating them to the next week. 
uh, shopping errand list. If you're going to be running to the store on the weekend, you can start writing down things you know you need, and then you can add through it throughout the week so you don't forget something. Uh, 18, a line a day journal. You could write one to two lines about how each day was. 19, gratitude. Write three things you're thankful for each day and try to make them different from the day before. 20, an order tracker. Write down what you ordered, when, how much it cost. You can update it with the ship date, tracking information, and expected date, which leads us to a bonus holiday planning or gift tracker. Do you go like all out for the holidays? So you got to keep track of decorations, gifts, uh, what you're cooking, all of that stuff. You can use your weekly page to start planning that. So like I just said, think of your weekly page as a sort of bullet journal. It is open for whatever you want and there's so many different ways that you can use it. You could change it up every week and still probably come up with enough ideas to keep you going for most of the year. So how will you use the weekly page in your daily duo? Let me know in the comments and then be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Share this video if you know somebody that needs some ideas. And until next time, may your coffee and plans be strong.